He's got to get his flu shot. He's looking forward to it, aren't you? He's so looking forward to it. Not at all. <laughs> the roster below will be our ninth grade team for 2019 through 2020. It's a party, folks. <laughs> Why is she, why is she trying to right jog? Yes, right in front of you. Oh my god. Take the paper. All right. Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas, right? <laughs> Brevin's taking Spanish. Can you tell how good is your Spanish getting? Not very good. Is it coming along? I mean, yeah. I like toddler Spanish. You know a few words. Yeah. You can communicate. Yeah. The toddler Spanish. Toddler Spanish. The main and basic needs. Yeah. Well, today's vlog is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge. Some days are just kind of like that. Right now, I've got Brevin with me. We're going to head to the medical clinic for a quick flu shot. I'm the only one that didn't get one. He's the only one that hasn't had his flu shot yet. When I took Spencer in for a physical for his basketball tryouts, we were there in the office and we saw a sign that said flu shots so are available now. And so he and I both were like, hey, can you do this while you're while you're at it. So we got ours done. Garrett and Ella, Ella especially, was disappointed that we got our flu shots before her because she's been asking about it. Don't know why. She just really Weird. loves getting flu shots. I think That's she a did. That's story for me. Yeah. She did tell me that she liked the really cool band-aids that she gets on her arms when she has her shots done. When she heard that Spencer and I had had ours done, she badgered me until we took care of her and Garrett right away. So after school one day, I quickly got theirs done. Jason's work did a clinic set up there at his office. And so now we have Brevin. He's got to get his flu shot. He's looking forward to it, aren't you? He's so looking forward to it. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> After I get Brevin his flu shot, then I'm going to be taking Spencer to his very first basketball practice. So here's the news. I kind of have to back up a little and show you what happened last night. So Disney Plus just went online today and we are on our couch watching live action Lady and the Tramp. We've already watched The Mandalorian. This is kind of strange but I felt like I needed to capture this moment what what it what's going read it, on read the email Spencer, Spencer like what's... read the whole thing well what does it say what are yeah, you read, doing read it, up. Uh, it says thank you for participating and supporting your athletes they've worked hard in open gyms and tryouts the roster below will be our ninth grade team for 2019 through 2020 me me it says me, me. yeah it says me turn it around it says me Oh, congratulations! Yeah, nice job. Thank you, you just nice made job. the freshman basketball Great team. That's awesome. Okay, now I'll let you guys go back to watching Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so there you have it. After a couple of days of basketball tryouts and several months of open gym where he was going and doing workouts and letting the coaches see him and his skills. We got that email last night letting us know the team roster and his name was there. So we're excited for him for this season coming up. It's going to be fun. It might be a little crazy. But anyway, that's what we've got going tonight and some other things too. So off to get your flu shot, Brevin. Yes. Woo. <laughs> Do you guys like getting flu shots or would you rather avoid it altogether and deal with the symptoms of getting the flu? I keep telling him if you get the flu, it's, the uh, flu. it's so much worse. It's so much worse if you don't have a flu shot. That's if you get the flu though. Yes, but you, you want to increase your chances of not getting the flu. We want it, we're building up our immunity. That's what we're doing today. He's still here. He's alive. Is it this time? Oh no, it's no, this it's one. Up.
Oh, oh, did that hurt? No. Okay, it'll be a little sore tomorrow, probably. It's just gonna suck. Where's your band-aid? What band-aid did you get? <gasps> Zebra. That's the oh, same okay. kind Ella got. Where it went in, did you see it? Did she like squeeze all of it out? Or? No, honestly, she was so quick that I was like, what, was that it? And I saw her putting the band-aid on and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't even see where it went in. It was fast. There you go, you are inoculated. You are ready for the season that is coming upon us. And hopefully we don't get sick. But I if we do- I swear if we get sick because of that. No, you won't get sick because of that. But if we do get the flu or exposed to it, the symptoms will be much less than had you not had that taken care of. So check that off my list. Mom's getting things done today. Woo woo. What's going on in here? Barbies. What are you playing? They're having a party. They're having a party? Yeah. I like parties. Is everybody invited? Yeah. Even the blue mermaid? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's a party, folks. <laughs> is that like a mosh pit at your party? You don't even know what oh, that is, do you? No. <laughs> All right, have fun. Well, today I have my first basketball practice, and we are going a little bit early, so I can show mom something in the halls. So you've got a little something to show me. The banners are up. Where are you at? Right there. Oh, that's awesome. You can hang it in your house. It's like a little You get to keep it when the year ends. Cool. Revan's got his in his room. His was determined. And yours is? Courteous. All right. That is a great picture. Are you taking off? Yeah, I gotta get to practice. Okay, yeah. see ya. Yeah. So I think it's awesome. They select a handful of students that are ninth graders at the school, and they have them come take photos, and they hang these banners of them all year long in the halls of the school. And for some reason, they had to do a reshoot of the photos this year, and so it took them a while to get them up, and so. We've been waiting anxiously to find out when they were gonna put them up. What's cool is they just randomly choose words to go on the photos. And so I didn't know what Spencer's photo word was gonna be, but I think courteous, that's awesome. That's a very fitting description of him. He is a courteous boy. And especially like, oh my goodness, today is Worldwide Kindness Day. And courteous and kindness are synonymous with each other. And that's why I'm wearing this cardigan in honor of Fred Rogers of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood um, to remind us all to be kind and thoughtful and neighborly. We all need a little reminder to be a little bit kinder and courteous because the world's a better place when we're that way. That's a dang good picture. What a handsome dude. Okay, now we get to do something really fun. So, our church has this activity that they do with youth and it's called Where's Waldo? And what they do is they ask about 10 people to kind of alter their appearance somehow and dress up and hide out at a local shopping mall and they divide into groups of teams of teenagers, and the teenagers go around them all trying to locate all of the different people. I've gotta get my hair in pin curls so that I can put on a wig, and then I'm gonna change it into a different outfit. Hopefully I do it well enough so that it's not super obvious, because as we play this game, anytime you have stocking caps on your head or wigs, they can kind of be a dead giveaway, unless it's a decent wig or you do it right. So, hair and pin curls. Ha! If only it really were that simple. Anyway, now the hard work comes in. I have to decide if I'm going to be a brunette 
or a black haired woman. Uh, should probably take these off. I think what I'll do is I'll try both of these on and see which one I like better. What I plan on doing is pulling the wig back into a ponytail to hopefully reduce some of the visual of the bulk because a wig can be a dead giveaway. And with my hair in a ponytail, I'm going to wear some, just some athletic clothes and have my headphones in and I'm going to be a mall walker. You know those people that walk around the malls getting exercise? I figure I might as well get some exercise while I'm at it. Maybe listen to a podcast or two. <laughs> this one's going to need some shaping help. If I pull it into a ponytail though, it might not look too bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? This is the final look. A little ponytail, a little headband. I'm gonna put some headphones in and I am good to go. All right, so I'm headed out the door. I'm going to Young Men's. As you guys have seen, my mom, she is dressed up and so I have no idea what she looks like. And so we're gonna go play Where's Waldo. My goal is to find her so I can give her the camera so I don't have to hold the camera all night. <laughs> Do you mind if I vlog or is that all right? Okay. Okay. I wonder if it's okay. Let's go. Winning group right here. We got we got Cam, Cam, Caleb, Kinsey, Marin. We're gonna win, guys. We're gonna win. Let's go. Yeah. So here's here's who we gotta find. I don't have it. Who's got the paper? Who's got the paper? We're supposed to ask for the code word. Ask for the code word. I found my mom. Dead giveaway. New skin jacket. <laughs> Why is she, why is she trying to jog? Yes, right in front of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my Take the paper. What are you trying to jog? What are you doing? Ah, you're walking so, oh man, you're walking so fast. Ah. She freaking Honestly. ran. Uh, Damn. We win? Well, yeah, we're done, bro. Where, where was she? I think she was down there. there. We found all the people. We found all the code words. Now I think we have to go and descramble a secret code. Cam, I told you we'd win. We won. Yeah. <laughs> So your practice went well. You're tired and hungry. And Brevin yep. is sharing his food court leftovers with you. Yep. I have to show you something funny. My steps are almost at 14,000 today with a note. You're walking more than you do on a typical day. <laughs> well, it wasn't a typical day, but it was a fun one. And now I am ready to take this wig off and go to bed. See ya. Uh -oh.